Hello, my name is Paul Sanders from Caption Data and the main purpose of this short video blog is to introduce the new dynamic reporting page that has just been introduced onto the Hygronet Secure Web Bureau. So any of you existing Hygronet users will notice this first login page. Uh, you'll see an additional new link to beta reporting. The old reporting page is always still available, so if you want to drop back to the uh, the traditional reporting page, that, that's still available for you. So if we click into beta reporting, the, the look and the feel of the page is very similar at this stage. So you can still go in and actually just select your remote Hygronet. We still have an IMEI reference here, so if you don't have a name for the unit, then you can still trace the unit via the uh, on Hygronet label which details the IMEI so you can still track the Hygronet that way. So the first main difference of this reporting page is you can actually plot multiple sensors on one trend. This wasn't available on the old reporting page so this is now quite a valuable feature if you want to compare for instance ambient temperatures throughout different rooms of a property. So you select the remote sensors that you wish to plot you select the time to and the time uh, the time from and the time to of the data range that you want on the system and you select the actual measurement from the the wireless sensors that you want to plot on the screen so if we just hit ambient temperature in this instance for the last week over the three sensors on the CDL office demo uh, let's click generate graph and there we have a nice trend so what we can then do is just reduce the, the size of the side toolbar just to free up some space on our screen. And what you can't see is actually what I'm doing on the mouse, but if you left click on the mouse, you'll see the cursor change and you can actually drag the whole screen of the reported values around. And then what you can do with the wheel of the mouse, if I want to zoom in on this, this peak of temperature here, we had a particularly hot day here in Worcester, um, you can actually zoom in on that area of interest using the wheel of the mouse. What you probably just noticed then as well is a legend actually flick up there. So each data point that is taken with a Hygronet system and logged to the server is actually plotted and available for you just to, to hover your cursor over and it gives you a nice legend of the, the actual logged data. So we can see there the the window ambient temperature uh, Saturday 23rd of June uh, was 42.43 degrees. Okay. So what we can then do if we wanted to plot humidities we can just maximize the sidebar again. Let's take ambient temperature off. Let's just do humidities, generate graph and there we go again. So we can then just reduce the, the side toolbar and scroll around, pan and zoom within that trending window dynamically. Again, it's all through your web browser. There's no need to install any special software. OK, well, I hope this uh, video blog has been useful. Uh, as ever, we really do value your feedback. So please do click on the feedback button here. It will open up an email for you to add your comments, uh, suggestions, uh, negative or positive. We'd be glad to hear them. Um, and please, as ever, feel free to contact us if you have any queries. Thanks for listening.